Hey, my name is Kenneth Ibarra. This video is meant to introduce you to Esperance Services new tablet. The purpose of this tablet is to help record your daily interactions with your clients. The tablet syncs with Esperance's database and will download your clients, your calendar entries, and time records. The tablet will allow you to complete your daily time records and record the goals and skills that you work on with your clients. Once you are finished working with your clients, you will be able to review it with your clients and get their digital signature. This video will cover all the steps necessary for creating time records both manually and through a clock in method. We will also cover periodic syncing and outcome measurements. So let's get started. First, a few things about the tablet. Like all electronic devices, you have to keep the tablet charged. The way we charge the device is by plugging in the supplied USB cable into the micro SD port on the tablet. Remember, it can only go in one way. Do not try to force the cable. You should hear an audible prompt when the cable is plugged in. The tablet should last on a battery power a full working day. Getting into the habit of plugging in your tablet at the end of the day will ensure that your tablet is ready to go when you are. Before you receive your tablet, it will have already be configured specifically for you. You cannot use anyone else's tablet without configuration changes. If you did not see your name on the homepage, please contact your supervisor. Now let's go over the process of time records. For this video, I will use the following example. I am scheduled to work with two clients. I plan on working from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. with the first client. I plan on working on client safety. At noon, I will complete the time record with that client. I will then take a 30 minute lunch and proceed to my next client. I will work with this client from 12.45 p.m. to 3.45 p.m. and this client is scheduled for a doctor's appointment. After completing the time record, I will head to the office to do a service update. To create this day's work schedule on the tablet, let's get started by creating your calendar. Creating time records start with being assigned hours for a client. Once you have been assigned hours from your supervisor, you must schedule these hours in the scheduler application online. You can drag and drop your clients onto the calendar and set up your hours on a monthly basis. You can also copy a range of calendar events from a prior month to a new date to help minimize the effort in creating your calendar. For alternate ways of editing events, you can select the manual input mode. You can create a new record or select the line item you wish to edit and modify. Make sure to save your calendar. We can now focus on the tablet. You access the app by selecting the Esperanza icon. Please note that the icon may be located in the program section of the tablet software. You can move the icon to the home page for easy access. Clicking on the navigation button allows you to navigate to different areas of the software. The status box contains your image and name, verifying that this is your tablet. Below your name is the status of time records you have stored on the tablet. Since you create a new calendar every month and your assignments may change, you will need to sync this information to the tablet. Once you complete your calendar, you will need to perform a full sync onto the tablet. Click on Perform Full Sync and a message box will appear reminding you that all unsigned time records will be deleted. Click OK. A progress indicator should appear. This process brings all of your calendar entries, clients, clients' goals and skills, and some of the previous time records. The calendar will list your events that were created in the schedule. They will be highlighted in red. It also shows your previous time records in yellow and unsigned and unsubmitted time records are shown in blue. The select client screen shows your current assigned clients. If a client isn't listed and you have performed a full sync, please contact your supervisor. A list shows your client's image, UCI and name. Underneath their name are total monthly hours. In a structured training session, you can prepare your time record during or at the end of the training session, depending on your situation. 
Once you arrive at your client's address, you can select the client from the navigation menu. Your client list appears, select the client, and a date selector pops up. The current day is selected and you can select OK. The client's current ISP goals are listed for you. The client goal selection page shows client's info, record date, total minutes for this day, admin drive button, sign button, and goals list. Outcomes contain a duration and a score. Admin records usually are not with the client. Service updates, SIRs, ISPs, progress notes, and drive to records are examples of admin record types. Admin records may contain a duration, miles driven with and without a client, or a general note about a client. Please discuss with your supervisor if you have any question on these definitions. For this training, I will use the example defined earlier when we set up the calendar. I started the day at 8 a.m. with my client. I worked on safe use of knives, safe use of stove, and covered emergency procedures. These are all under the goal client safety. To create the outcome, we start by selecting the goal. Select the time start for the goal. Since I started our, our day at 8 a.m., I will move the time slider to the appropriate time. Select OK. You see the skills relating to the goals listed? Select the skill. In this case, I will select safe use of knives. Select the score. For definition of these scores, please consult with your supervisor. In this choice, my client needed several prompts but was able to comprehend the subject matter. Therefore, I will set the score to five for safe use of knives. Next, how long did I work on the skill? I will enter 30 minutes for safe use of knives and click save. For safe use of stove, I will select seven for the client score and a duration of two and a half hours. Finally, for emergency procedures, I selected five for the score and one hour for the duration. The goal page will show all skills that you have recorded. The top number reflects to the number of minutes worked on the skill. The bottom number reflects your score. Since you save your skills, you can return at any time to update that skill that you worked on. If by accident you entered the wrong skill and saved the outcome, you can select the skill and click the delete button. Once you have entered all skills for the goal, you click the back arrow in the upper left corner to go back to the goal page. You can select another goal for this client and enter more outcome records. You can also change your outcome score or duration at any time before signature. Let's say you want to edit your 8 o'clock goal for client safety. Select the goal, a time button will appear in the upper left hand side of the select time screen. Click the time button and that time record will be loaded allowing you to edit your previous entries or add a new skill. To edit a previous entered skill, simply select the skill, the dialog box will appear showing the time and score selection box. Make changes accordingly and click save. You can also select delete to remove the skill record. In addition to logging your outcomes, you can also log your admin time. Admin time can be goal or non-goal related. Using our example, we left our first client after four hours and drove to our second client. I will start the next client time record by selecting the client and the date. I will create a drive to admin record. For this record, I drove 11 miles to the client after I took my lunch. Click on the admin drive button. I will select the drive option, then select to client option. 
I finished my lunch at 1230, so that will be my start time for the drive. The duration is 15 minutes and the distance is 11 miles. Click Save. The goal selection page will display all non-goal admin records under the admin drive button. If you click on the admin record and click the admin drive button, it will allow you to edit or delete that admin record. With this client, he has an appointment with his primary doctor, a routine bi-monthly checkup. I also work with this client on completing his medical forms and prompted client to discuss his medical concerns with his doctor. Goal-related admin records relate to driving or progress notes. In my current example, I will include the mileage driven to and from the doctor's office. Under the health management goal, for the time period of 1245, I will select the mileage note button. I will then enter 10 miles representing to and from the doctor's office with my client. I will also type bi-monthly checkup in the notes section and click save. Just like non-goal admin records, you can edit the record by selecting the record and clicking the mileage note button. When you have finished entering all relevant time entries, click the sign button to go to the client review screen. Prior to leaving your client, review the lesson summary with the client and click sign, having the client sign the record. Click save to complete this record. Alternatively, time record creation can use a checklist approach. Using the previous example, I would create a time record for my first client. Once you arrive at your client's address, you can start the time record. Select the client and choose the Start Now option. The software will automatically round to the nearest quarter hour. You can select to start at the earliest hour or choose to start at the next 15 minute increment. The home page will show that you are currently recording a time record. Clicking on the home page time record, you can periodically check off the skills worked on during your session with the client, or make a mental note of the skills presented to the client and process the skills worked on at the end of the session. When your session is over and you are ready to sign out, Click the end time button. This will stop the time record at this time, giving you a clear end time message. Select OK button, and now we can spend a few minutes going over time spent on skills. The form automatically assigns minutes to each skill. The system automatically rounds up to the next 15 minute interval. This means that if you end time at 12.02, the end time will change to 1215. This will give you some time to prepare the time spent on the skills for the summary screen. If you need more time than this, you have the option of adjusting the end time. You can change the end time up to one hour in the future. An example of changing end time would be that you need more minutes to prepare the summary. If your end time is 1213, this will adjust by only two minutes. You can add 15 minutes more to prepare the time record. Another example is if the client was unable to sign or simply did not get the signature on the day of the session. You can go back another day and review the time with the client and have them sign the record then. Just the other day, I took my client to the dentist for a routine checkup. The dentist informed me that my client may have to spend more time in the chair than what I originally scheduled. I discussed with the client that I could not stay past the scheduled time and he agreed to take the bus home. I changed my end time ahead by 45 minutes, which represents the time I will leave the dentist's office and proceed to my next appointment. The client signed the time record and was fully aware of the end time difference. 
click the change end time button, change the end time as needed. Note that the end time cannot be earlier than the start time, nor longer than one hour from the current time. Enter a reason for the time change and click done. Modifying the end time will redistribute the minutes assigned to skills. Using my example, we spent 30 minutes on safe use of knives, two and a half hours for safe use of stove, and one hour on emergency procedures. I will use the plus and minus buttons to adjust the timing, and the skills must add up to the total time. To help you know if your skills add up, a message will appear in the upper left corner telling you if you were under or over and by how many minutes. Add and subtract minutes from the skills until the message reads good. When you are done with the time adjustments, click Client Review. When you are finished modifying your time record, you can show the following screen to your client and review your training session. It includes the start and end times, as well as the duration spent on each skill. Click the sign button. Using the tablet pen or their finger, have them initial the box and click save. Click the clear button to clear the screen and try again, or click the cancel button to close the window without saving. To finalize your time record when using the alternate time entry method, you must score the skills worked on with the client before submitting. When you click on the signed client, you will only be shown the goals and skills that you worked on with the client. Click on a goal, then click each of the skills to change the score. Select an appropriate score for the client and click save. You can also enter admin notes and mileage for this goal by clicking on the mileage note button. When you have finished with this goal, hit the back arrow button. You can now select another goal to modify. You can also enter non-goal admin records as described earlier. When you have finished editing your scores and admin records, hit the submit button. You will be brought back to the home page and your completed time records will be uploaded. Your time record will automatically upload to Esperanza if the record has a signature or has been submitted. The home page will inform you of the status of the upload as well as any errors. If there are errors, please make a note of them and bring them to your supervisor's attention. Errors will occur if your time records collide with existing time records created for either you or your client. Thank you for your attention. You can always refer to this video for the basic operation of this tablet.